okay guys in this video we'll deal with the error you appear to be offline you can't use the gmail until you are connected to internet not only gmail the whichever whatever you are going to access anytime uh, even if you are going to access different websites and all this different other stuff whatever over the internet you might get this error so if you are getting this error the very first thing that you need to understand is in the most cases you will be getting this error because of internet issue in one the either way your internet connection is not perfect and your laptop or a mobile device is not being able to access the internet properly if you are getting this error whether in a laptop desktop or a mobile device so if you can fix your internet issue this issue will be gone so if you see this error in your uh, browser the very first thing you should understand is i have to fix my internet problem let me fix my internet problem this error will go automatically the very first thing you need to check your router reset your router turn off your router turn it on again after a few minutes and see if internet problem is gone in order to verify if the problem is only with the particular website or particular page you are trying to access other pages are working fine uh, then in that case the problem is only with the specific website so in that case uh, you may not see similar type of error but different type of error with the different types of error messages so if you're getting that there is a, there, may, there might be the problem with a specific website maybe the website is down for a time being or maybe the website is under maintenance so in that case you will be getting the error message like the website is under maintenance come back check later if you uh, sometime you'll be getting the sometime maybe their dns server has some kinds of problems uh, you are not being able to uh, access those website the problem is not from your side problem is from their website whoever is hosting that website so he need to fix the problems that user are not being able to access the website so or maybe the website is blocked in your region so in the different scenario if you're getting that uh, that those for those kinds of error the message um, uh, appear will the one that appear, will appear on your page will not be similar to this it will be different from this so in order to uh, what i was about fixing the internet connection problem so you can contact your uh, contact your internet service provider if you have an internet problem or you can if you are uh, or you can run some of few commands uh, over the uh, command prompt and this will fix your minor internet issue and your website and you can just try to access the page and it should be working fine some of the commands that you can run on your command prompt uh, let me show you so you wanna type cmd give a right click on it and run as administrator click on yes now finally you are opening the command prompt as an administrator now you're gonna type few commands so the very first command is ipconfig ipconfig space slash release and hit enter key after executing the first command the ne next command that you're going to execute is ipconfig space slash plus dns and hit enter key you can see successfully flush the DNS. This is the next command that you're gonna type ipconfig space slash renew and then hit enter key. The fourth command to execute is netsh space int space ip space reset hit enter key. Now finally one more command to execute. Netsh win sock space reset so we have a space over here and here and hit enter key now finally it will ask you to restart your computer so exit it and we'll restart the computer so after restart your problem should be gone away and you will be able to fix the issue and your browser should be working fine whether it is a chrome or whether it is a Edge or firefox or whatever browser 
And in the last option that you're going to try is you're going to search for the control panel and open it. In control panel, you have a network and internet. Here you have a internet option. In an internet option, you will go to connections and then LAN setting. Make sure it is checked. If it is unchecked, you want to check this. And this should be unchecked. If it is checked, make sure to uncheck. So this should be unchecked and this should be checked. So confirm that and click on OK. And click on OK. So this was the last solution that you could try. Along with this, so in the last solutions, so one more thing you can add to this one. So for the last step, one more thing that you can do if you are using an Ethernet network. You will give a right click on it, click on open in network and internet settings. We will go to Ethernet and finally we will click on change adapter option. Now if you click on change adapter option, you will see this space. Give a right click on Ethernet whichever you are using, click on properties. And then finally you will choose here TCP IP version 4. Finally click on properties. Here it is opt in automatically. You can manually assign the IP address. So this is you can do. In some cases, in some cases if you are using a Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can even click on over here, edit. Here it is automatic, you are going to choose manual, turn on IP version 4 and you can manually use the IP address and gateway. And save the settings and you can try. So all these were the different options you could try in order to fix this issue. And finally your browser should be working fine, this issue should be gone. In any browser whether it is a Chrome or Ace or Firefox or whatever. So all the way, share this video, like, subscribe and comment. Catch you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.